Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me for Tuesday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministers. We have a great and powerful lesson today. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And our lesson is coming from Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 14. Amen. We have a great lesson as we stated, but we're going to get ready and move into the lesson. But first, we want to have prayer, then we're going to move right into the lesson. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Father, for watching over us all night long. We thank you that you are such an awesome and wonderful God. We thank you, Father, for showing us the way to go. We thank you, Father, for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you, Father, for being our counselor, teaching us in all things, Father, as we allow the Holy Spirit to unction us and we follow that unction in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are God Almighty and beside you there is none other. We thank you, Heavenly Father, <clears throat> for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Father, for being our everlasting Father, one that we can lean and depend on in the name of Jesus and all things, Father. We thank you that you are our Prince of Peace in the name of Jesus. We give you honor, glory, and praise. Thank you for peace of mind in all situations in the name of Jesus. We claim and walk in that peace in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, that you are our all in all. We thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, Father. And giving us activities, our limbs, our health and strength in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for all that we have, Father. We know that there are many, hey, hallelujah, that's in this lifetime are, are going without many things that we are blessed with. And we thank you, Father, that our eyes is open to the blessings that you bestow upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we come to you today, studying your word, meditating on your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your words. As it said in Psalms 1, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scoffer, but his his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Father, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, as we stated, our lesson, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. We are to, by all means, trust in him. And as we lean and depend on him, that we can and we do trust in him to guide us and lead us in all true path of righteousness. Amen. The scripture lesson text read, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and who so hope, and whose hope the Lord is, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the water, and shall not see when that when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his way and according to the fruit of his doing. As the partridge sitteth on eggs and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches and and not by right shall leave them in the midst of the of his days, and at his end shall be a fool, a glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. O Lord, the hope of Israel, 
all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Amen. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Amen. Amen. This is a great and wonderful lesson. Amen. As we look at who we are uh, in this passage, not only who we are, but what God is to us and how he uh, uh, knows who we are and and tries us and, 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 and according to our uh, uh, deeds, are we tried in our heart? He tests because only he can know the heart for sure. Amen. <clears throat> We're going to move right into the lesson. Uh, uh, as we said, Jeremiah 17, 7 to 14, as we trust in the Lord. Uh, verse 7 and 8 said, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Amen. <clears throat> this passage also uh, gives us a reference into uh, Psalms 1. Amen. As we were speaking when we first started, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scoffer, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so, for they are like the chair which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment of righteousness, but in, in the judgment of righteousness. Amen. As we see here, <clears throat> Uh, we are blessed as we trust in the Lord. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Amen. Those who trust to their own righteousness and strength and think they can do without Christ make flush their arm and their souls cannot prosper in graces our conference and says man lean on man for for trust and dependence he quickly finds out that man even at his best is not the one to lean upon amen and we are as this is as, as said in scripture uh, we are to lean not to our own understanding amen and, and in all our, our ways to acknowledge god amen those who make god their hope shall flourish like a tree always green whose leaf does not wither they shall be fixed in peace and satisfaction of mind. They shall not be anxious in a year of drought. Those who make God their hope have enough in him to make up the want of all creature comforts, all that we want, all that we need. We can get it through him. Amen. They shall not cease from yielding fruit in holiness and in good works. We shall not cease from yielding our fruit. That is the, the fruit of our labor in holiness and in good works. Amen. Verses 9 through 11 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his will and according to the fruit of his doing. As the partridge sitteth on eggs and hatches them not, so he that getteth riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days and at his end shall be a fool. <clears throat> Amen. As we know, is speaking of that, you know, when we get things that is not got to we don't receive it or do it the right way, then we will end up it, because all things is brought to uh, uh, to uh, uh, 
to to the light. All things are brought to light that we do, whether good or bad. Amen. The heart, the conscience of man in his corrupt and fallen state is deceitful above all things. It calls evil good and good evil and cries peace to those to whom it does not belong. Herein the heart is desperately wicked. It is deadly. It is desperate. The case is bad indeed. If the conscience which should set right the errors of other fa uh, faculties is a leader in the in the delusion, we cannot know our own hearts, nor what they will do in an hour of temptation. Who can understand his errors? Much, <clears throat> much less can we know the heart of others or depend upon them. He that believes God testimony in this matter and leans to watch his own heart will find this a correct thought, a sad picture, and learns many lessons to direct his conduct. But much in our own hearts and in the hearts of others will remain unknown. Yet whatever weakness there is, in the heart, God sees it. Men may be imposed upon, but God cannot be deceived. He that gets riches and not by right, though, me, though he may make them his hope, never shall have joy of them. This shows that vexation it is to a worldly man at death and that he must leave his riches behind. But through the wealth, though the wealth will not follow to another world, guilt will and everlasting torment. The rich man takes pains to get an estate and sits brooding up on it, but never has any satisfaction in it. By sinful courses, it comes to nothing. Let us be wise in time. What? And what we get, let us get it honestly, amen, and what we have, use it charitably to help those that we can, that we may be wise for eternity, amen. It said, verses 12 through 14 says, a glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Amen. In all our ways, we acknowledge God, and he will direct our past. Amen. That's we that's why we must acknowledge him that he can direct our past so we do not lean to the left or to the right. Amen. In the wrong for in the, at the wrong time. Amen. The prophet acknowledges the favor of God in setting up religion. There is fullness of comfort in God overflowing, ever flowing fullness like a fountain. It is always fresh and clear like spring water while the pleasure of sin are puddle waters. He prays to God for healing, saving mercy. He appeals to God concerning the faithful discharge of the office to which he was called. He humbly begs that God would own and protect him in the work to which he had plainly called him. As we know, each and every one of us is called to a particular work. Amen. Let us, as we go forth in that work, Father, let us be a calling to God for direction and leading. Amen. Whatever wounds or disease we find to be in our hearts and consciences, let us apply to the Lord to heal us, to save us, that our souls may praise his name. 
Amen. Anything that we are lacking in, let us seek God that he may help us in these areas in our life. Amen. These are great and wonderful. This is a great and wonderful lesson. Amen. I pray that <clears throat> each of you, if something is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would like prayer, please let me know in the in your in your statements amen and also if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the lord amen you have a wonderful and blessed day god bless you